This demonstration will review how to set up and use virtual companies in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. What is virtual? Virtual is something that exists in effect but does not actually exist in form. How is a virtual company used in Microsoft Dynamics AX? Virtual companies enable tables to be shared by multiple real companies. The virtual company tables are used instead of the individual company tables. A virtual company is a company that does not exist. It cannot be accessed by a user. Only the tables of the virtual company exist. Microsoft Dynamics AX data is stored in tables. The Microsoft Dynamics AX AOT, or Application Object Tree, is where the structure of the data and tables can be viewed. In the example illustrated below, Company A and Company B each have a zip code table. Whenever a zip code is viewed, edited, created, or deleted, Microsoft Dynamics AX references the respective zip code table. If a new zip code is needed, it must be added to both company tables. If a virtual company is set up to contain the zip code table and Company A and Company B are both linked to this virtual company, then the zip code tables in Company A and Company B are not used. Instead, both companies point to the virtual company table for zip codes. If a new zip code is added in Company A, it is being added to the virtual company table and therefore will be available in Company B. Virtual companies are set up in the administration module. Multiple virtual companies can be created. The Company Accounts tab is where the companies are selected that will be associated to the virtual company created. Use the arrow buttons in the middle of the screen to select each company. Warning: When a company is associated to a virtual company, the shared virtual tables will be used instead of the company tables. If data exists in the company table, it will not be accessible. Any existing data should be exported before linking a company to a virtual company. The Table Collections tab is where the tables to be shared are selected. Related tables are grouped into collections in the Microsoft Dynamics AX application object tree. A default table collection can be selected or user-defined collections can be created using the AOT. The AOT can also be used to view what tables exist in each of the collections. In a moment, we will demonstrate how to view the tables that are contained in the global table collection. The Microsoft Dynamics AX AOT should only be used by trained IT professionals. It is accessed by selecting the AOT icon from the Microsoft Dynamics AX toolbar. To view table collections in the AOT, open the Data Dictionary, then open Table Collections. The default table collections can be opened to view the individual tables within each collection. To create new table collections in the AOT, right-click on Table Collections and select New Table Collection. A new table collection will be created. Right-click on the new table collection that is created and select Rename. Rename the table collection to something meaningful, for example, zip codes. Right-click on Tables and select Open New Window. A new form will open that lists all of the Microsoft Dynamics AX tables. Scroll through the list of tables to find the tables that will be shared. Drag and drop the tables to your new, new table collection. Save the new table collection and then exit the AOT. The new table collection now appears in the Microsoft Dynamics AX setup for virtual companies. If the zip codes collection is selected, then only the zip code table will be shared. If any data exists in the company table before the company is linked to the virtual company, the data will not be accessible. Be sure to export any existing data before sharing tables.